main one is uh, contains unit for the jewel thief. It's got the LED the one side. It's got a switch either side, which is uh, double pole, double throw. Just got it resting in the middle section at the second. If I flick it that way, the light's running off the first battery that's in there and charging up the second one. And if I flick it the other way, it's running off the other battery and charging on the other battery. It's all just uh, controlled by the contacts on this switch. I'm just going to open this up so you can all have a look at it. You can see I've got the uh, double pole double throw switch there that I've hooked up so it swaps the two batteries over, which are these two here that I've. What I've actually done is uh, you're not meant to, but I've uh, just made a rough patch on either side and soldered a wire directly on to uh, save them space. I've got the uh, dual feed circuit just pushed in on top and all the other wires where I can get them. I'm going to uh, put the top back on again there. And uh, I'm going to leave it continuously on until uh, one of the batteries runs down and time this. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick it over to the other battery until it gets, goes all the way down and then time it and then flick it over to the other side uh, to see actually how much we are gaining back when we've got matched batteries all on the one system. I'm going to do that now then. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, discharge the one battery while fully charging the other and uh, I'm going to time it and uh, find out exactly how long it takes to charge the battery up and then swap it around again uh, so we can see uh, how much we're losing through the LED if we are so I'm going to do that now then and it should take quite a while and uh, that's the reason why I've uh, built it into a little box so I can uh, take it around to work with me and uh, when it does start to dim down I can just flick it over and click the uh, lap reset on the uh, iPhone. Now something else I've been working on is I've used a uh, ferrite core out of a magnetron, the, uh, the one of the magnets that's in there, and uh, I've wound a bifilia coil on either side of it, and uh, I've used a couple of MOSFETs and still with resistors. Uh, now what I found is uh, it doesn't have the same sort of frequency response because it only works with two batteries. If you try and take one of the batteries out, you get nothing back. And if you put the battery back in again, it works fine. So we're not getting the uh, the effect that we're getting on the other one, the smaller one. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to rewind this with actual magnet wire and see how we get with there. That's great then. The, uh, the clock at 18 hours 40 minutes and 32 seconds and as you can see there the, the light is just barely on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flick it over so we can see uh, how much charge we've gained back out of it and then uh, I'm going to rock it one way and the other way now to switch the batteries over all I have to do is uh, flick this switch because we've hooked it up and if I can reset that now then and then flick the switch and click start and we can see how long that lasts now well after uh, 5 hours 11 minutes and 16 seconds You'll see that it's still ringing very strong. I think you'll see that better uh, when the lights off. It's very bright still. So uh, we, we've only got another uh, 12 hours to go, hopefully. And uh, I'm kind of hoping it will still continue to light up after that. 
Right, uh, something I found quite surprising was the uh, the light still on after uh, 22 hours and 46 minutes. Uh, it's still quite bright. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over again now. I think the uh, the reason for this may be that uh, one of the cells was more charged than the other when I first uh, started the test. So what I'm going to do now then is stop that there and reset it and then flip the switch over and start it again. Right, now uh, last time this battery lasted 18 hours, so let's see if we can beat that. <laughs> 